Hi guys, this is All Things Tech, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get your iPad to mirror in full screen on an Apple TV third generation. So, for this you will need to jailbreak your iPad, and I've done videos in there before, but as you can see this is what you normally get when you mirror. So you get the two black lines down the edge, and when you're watching a movie or something you do struggle to... Uh, see the full screen. So what you need is to go into Cydia and to get an application called Display Out. This is free, you don't need to pay anything for it. There is a paid version but you can get a free one. You need to get it from the Hack Your iPhone repository and again if you follow my video which the link will be in the description about jailbreaking your device you will get that. Uh, you'll see the easy way to put that repo on there. Okay so all you need to do is install that and then I'm just going to skip a step now and show you what it's like when you have done it and then I'll show you afterwards how you can tweak it and make it as you like. So as you can see now the uh, full screen effect has taken place and you do get some slight squashing effect of the um, of the screen. Um, it actually isn't too bad in reality and when you do watch a movie um, you you don't see it too bad either. So what you can do though is go into the settings and then display out which is about three quarters of the way down and you'll see that these these different bars here which you can just tweak to you know some of them don't seem to do any changes or they may just move the whole screen slightly to the left or slightly to the right or move the whole screen slightly up and slightly down but you'll see that the um, portrait landscape mode as you can see this changing now makes it bigger and also then there's another um, area where you can make it taller like this or more stubbier. So all you need to do is try and tweak this as much as you possibly can to get it working to, um, to where you think it looks best. Then my suggestion would be to cut into, go to a video or go to a film and see how it looks on there because the proof is in the pudding obviously of what it looks like. And so if we go and have a look at a film now so as you can see, you still get some letterbox effect, and if you want to adjust that again, then you can quickly go back into the display out and tweak that. But when it starts, you can see from the iPad, I'm getting that on the iPad anyway, so it's not too bad. But again, go back in and have a little play with it. But yeah, there you go, guys. Um, a lot of people have been wondering how to get full screen. That's how you do it, and it's really good, very simple, and works really well. Hope you uh, have found this video interesting. If you have, please give it a like and obviously subscribe for more videos. And wait to the end of my little jingle at the end because I'm supporting my friend Dave and he's got a great channel. And go and have a look at that. There's a little trailer coming up just now.